So um, uh, SQL has different capabilities. Um, uh, this, this, there are majorly three. We have the projection where it can be in position to specify the columns that you want to be that you want uh, to display specific columns that you want to display. Then selection is where you can specify the rows that you want to be retrieved. And then join is where you can be in position to join two or more tables together, as we shall see later in the in the course. Of <clears throat> so the selection. Um, this is the SQL capability for specifying the rows one is interested in retrieving from the database. So this is done by using the where close. Okay, so you can see the select close from the table, and then you specify the condition. So in this case, you can say select from student where registration number is equal to this so the where will tell you specifically what row you want to return okay so when during the select uh, when you're using the select kind of uh, uh, capability you have some operators like i have said where registration number is equal to this where age is greater than or equal to that so these are the different operators that we're going to use and um, you can say between between this and that, for example, reach, um, select all students whose date of birth is between 1980 and 1992. And then you have the 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 the, the like where you want the the you want the statement to return only those people that you for example you can say like the last name ends with an a or it starts with an r you're going we're going to see all these uh different operators and how they are used in sql but it is imperative that you know how we use them <clears throat> okay so um we have uh logical conditions still in the select uh, in the selection. So a logical condition combines the results of two component conditions to produce a single result based on them. So in other words, when you're looking at the logical conditions, we are looking at a row is returned only and only if it does uh, adhere to the condition that you have specified. And we have three kinds of logical operators. We have the not, and, and, or. So not implying that whatever you want to read, whatever you have specified, it should not include what you have specified. The and is you should uh, include both this and that, or the or is you should include either this or that. That is what the, those logical conditions uh, mean, and we shall see how uh, we use them. Data retrieval from uh, from one table, so we can retrieve data. Either you can retrieve all the columns and all the rows. So there is a specific statement that helps you to retrieve data from all the of all the rows and all columns. There is a specific syntax that will help you to retrieve specific columns and all the rows. There is another syntax that helps you to retrieve all the columns and specific rows, and then there is a specific syntax that will help you to retrieve specific columns and specific rows. So for example, if you look at this, okay, retrieving all columns and rows from the tables, this one will select all from student. Everything that you have in the student will be displayed, okay? Then this one will specify specific columns and rows from the table. So <clears throat> in this case, these are the only tables that you want to be displayed. Remember, this table has many other task date of birth, pro code, and cost code. But the only ones that you want to return are registration number, first name, and last name. That is the code that you use. Um, where you have, you want to retrieve all the columns, but you only need specific rows to be returned. So when you say select all, remember I say this asterisk means all. So you select all from students where the registration number is this. This will return 
only one row because the assumption is registration number is a primary key and therefore it cannot have null. sorry it cannot have repetitive values then also where you're retrieving specific columns and specific roles now here in your select statement you define the particular rows that one you want to retrieve and then you tell us from the student and then you specify the registration number we are going to see how also this works out so this is a simple quiz okay um which at the time when we are doing the zoom meeting i want all of you to have tried out this because during our zoom sessions i'm not going to be teaching but it's going to be a q and a kind of discussion because i have literally taught uh, the theory and also the theoretical part the theoretical part of the practicals and i have actually taught the practicals themselves by using the dbms in the in my sql console so what you will do is you will try to attempt this quiz and then when we're doing our um, online classes through zoom we shall be trying to see what did you what were the results what was returned so i implore you to try out all these quizzes and all the and everything that i told you to to work out with otherwise you will not be in position to follow through so using the distinct keyword so we're saying that the purpose is to enable the retrieval of only unique set of rows you only want to retrieve rows that are not repetitive so for example if you say select distinct last name from the student okay so in this case it will only return the values that are not repetitive so where you have someone's last name and it appears more than once it will not retrieve so you can specify multiple columns after the distinct qualifier which results into distinct tuples so still you can have the distinct uh, being applied on different columns okay so we have arithmetic operators and expressions okay so we're saying that the arithmetic operators present in sql include you can use a plus a minus an asterisk for uh, for multiplication and then you also divide so this can be used in any clause except from the from clause so you can use them in the where clause in the distinct clause in all those clauses but you cannot use them in the from clause so same operator precedence rules that apply in sql statements in other words it uses the same rules as you see in the sql statements the different sql statements like the select statement and the alter or the drop statements arithmetic expressions can contain column names they can have constant values and they can have arithmetic operators then we have what you call aliases sorry expressions okay an expression ex, an expression is a composition of various operators and operands that is an expression that we usually use to evaluate a single value or a set of values in a table we basically have three types of expressions we have the boolean we have the numeric and then we have the debt expression so the boolean fetches the data based on matching a single value so for example if you look at this generic statement for this expression by saying select the columns that you want from a given table where the single value matching it where the single value should match the expression so the example here you say select all from program where tuition fees is equal to 3.2 million so this is a boolean expression that is going to return a single value then we have the numeric expression it is used to perform many, any mathematical operation in any query this is the generic syntax for that uh, for um, a numeric x x 
for a numeric expression. So you have you select the numeric expression as operation name. So in what you see here as the first line, we're saying select numerical expression as operation name. Now, as the operation name is the alias, this one here is the alias. So that means that your column is going to be the column is going to be named operation name so as is the alias so that table is the column is going to be operation name from you specify the table where you want to uh, have this expression uh, done and then you specify the condition okay so that is so if you look at this this you can select 10 plus 11 as addition addition is going to be the name of the column so there are several built-in functions like average sum count to perform aggregate data uh, calculations against the table uh, this is an example of a numeric exp expression where I say select count. Count means that I want you to count all the all the records in the table. So this is what it means. Select count all. So you're saying all that want you to count and give us the total number of rows that are in the table as as records. So that means that that table is going to be represented. Uh, the table, sorry, the column name is going to be called records from student. We shall see this again during the practicals. Then we have data expressions. These return current uh, system date and time values. And this is, um, you can select current underscore timestamp and it will give you the current date or you can also use this as another expression for date. Okay, so these are just uh, ex uh, uh, these are just um, examples of the data expression, numeric expression, and the character expression. The character expression, this one, is where you see the concat. Concat means that you're going to add both the first name and the last name into one column that is concat so you will see your column name is going to be first name last name that is the concat okay so now using column aliases we're saying that a column heading is changed by using a common alias a column alias with the purpose of making the column heading more descriptive double quotation marks must be used when the alias has spaces so in other words you can where you say first name so in that case make sure that you use double quotes for that particular alias um, so the aliases are case sensitive and also they could they can have special characters they are useful for calculations and may be defined using the as keyword so the as keyword is the one that defines the aliases so you can try this when you say select concat so these are going to be connected together name so you instead of having first name last name the column is going to have the name so you have coursework one times 11 as first coursework from the course table This I did explain, I'm not going to explain it again. And then we have the order by. I said that the order by allows you to list the column in a particular order or to sort them in a particular order, either sorting them in ascending or sorting them in descending order, as we shall see. But it usually appears at the end of the select statement, the order by usually appears at the end. It is the last clause at the select statement. So, um, because this video is about to end, uh, let me discuss the update operation in another video. Thank you very much.